the camera module and it fits right onto a, uh, has a little shoe for the camera itself. Uh, we're giving, we're passing through IP camera control here with this network and little network tape. We've got HD SDI. This is 3G 1080p 60 video here, and then we've got a little camera control uh, power module here. So power, video, and control. Now on this side, we've got our microphone. So a lot, a lot of places when they have these cameras far away, they want to pick up a little bit of ambient noise. Imagine like a NASCAR racer where you want to hear that car zooming around the side of a, of a. Um, a space there. So this gives us a little bit of ambient audio and everything, all of that, video, control, power, audio, all over a fiber cable that we can extend up to 2,000 feet. Let me take you over to the other side there and we'll look at the base station. So now that I'm over here on the other side, uh, you can see that this unit includes a base unit and a camera interface. We have the choice of IP control or serial control. This is the fiber here that we're zooming into. It has a three-year warranty, and it's actually made in America. Uh, it has a very durable aluminum water-resistant case and a quick-release camera mount that fits right onto the PTZ Optics cameras. Now I wanted to mention that the RoboCam FiberLink 1000 is $3,995 and the RoboCam FiberLink 2000 is $4,495. Here's the front of the unit here and you can see it's a rack mountable unit and it plugs directly into the fiber in the front there. We have our IP joystick here plugged into the network at the receiving end because it passes that network control over the fiber. Um, so you can see here there's a little easy to monitor on off switch and this can easily be put into a rack um, very easily and uh, here's the back of the unit here we just require power for the whole system that's going to pass that power we've got the audio coming out here via XLR we have an HD SDI with pass through um, that provides the pass through video and we're taking the HD SDI output to record this video and then we have our network for the network control here. So it's a very um, simplistic way to extend video and audio. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post new videos every week. And check out our live streaming courses we have below. Uh, catch our live show every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern.